Welcome back to another marketing video, friend. This is the Child Care Business Marketing Made Easy YouTube show. And every single month I come in and I drop about a 10 minute marketing video training that I know is going to help you grow um, your daycare, your child care program, reach more families and really run a thriving business. Now, in this video, I want to address the Facebook ads don't work for me myth. Um, I'm going to walk you through three most popular mistakes that I see most providers make when they do venture off and, and invest a few dollars in Facebook ads. And then we're going to talk a little bit about what you should be doing instead. Okay. So if you have ever wondered if do Facebook ads really work? Are they, um, will they give me a return on my investment? Are they hard to set up? Should I even be thinking about Facebook ads? Um, the answer is it depends. <laughs> it depends. Obviously you need a budget to be spending. Um, if you want Facebook to advertise for you now, this does not have to be a huge budget, but it does, it does require some funds, but I promise you that if done properly, um, you get so much more exposure and visibility to your program. You actually can start conversations with interested parents in a matter of a couple of days. I actually had a client that we st when we started her Facebook ad campaign, she had a client in her inbox the next day. Um, and every single day after that, there were new people that were finding her because of these ads and they were in her DM asking her for information. So yes, they work um, if done well. No, you don't need thousands of dollars to start them. And this video, I really want to focus on three mistakes that I see a lot of providers make when they do start Facebook ads on their own. And then we're going to talk again a little bit about how to fix those problems. So the first mistake that I see is creative. So the creative is any image or video that you are using for the ad. Um, and this is really, really difficult to, um, to set up if you've never done ads before, because this is the first thing that you want to get right. Because if you get this right, then the, the family or the mom and dad that is scrolling on Facebook, well, they're going to stop the scroll because of this creative. So there's graphics you could put up. There's uh, actual photos of the kids or there's videos. In my experience, um, what I see a lot of providers do is just publicize a really, um, text, uh, heavy, flyer type of graphic that they just kind of sized into a, like a, uh, a square image and they just use that as a Facebook ad. And that is really, really not going to help you stop the scroll and attract more families to your program. So when you're thinking about Facebook ads and you're thinking about what type of creating creative works best videos are your answer. Video marketing, recording a th short three to five minute video, and just sharing about your program, sharing about how your program is different. It's unique, how it fills in the gap in your community. Um, introduce yourself as the business owner, um, share about what you do with the kids, what the curriculum is all about, share some social proof, what other families in your program are talking about, right? When I see these really um, quickly put together graphic or flyer type images, um, and you know, f um, providers are saying, well, I, you know, I invested $30 uh, to publicize my business card or a flyer and it didn't work. It didn't get me any results. Well, yes, because the online space is super busy. And one of the first things you have to do is grab someone's attention. Once you do that, then, you know, then you have to focus on what you're saying. So the copy on the actual ad, and then obviously asking them to take the next step. But if you don't get a mom and dad that's local to you to even stop the scroll as they're scrolling throughout the day, then you've lost that battle. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see is providers really are too afraid to have fun or to test different creatives. And they just take a, you know, plain old flyer or a business card and they just publicize that. What you want to be doing again is taking out your smartphone, um, having some nice lighting in your center and actually just sharing about your program, about you, about the, you as the owner, why you started this, this business, um, what the kids are experiencing in your care. And then kind of build from that. That's going to really position you as someone that, um, knows what they're talking about. Um, video is a great way for you to reach moms and dads and really make them feel more comfortable, right? You want to be able to get them to feel comfortable. You want them to feel as though they know you, they like you, that they can trust you, right? So that they can take the next step. Um, and just a fun fact, they convert better than a static image and video marketing really does reach more people. So that ad is going to reach more eyeballs versus a static image. Okay. 
The second mistake I see a lot of providers make is not having enough budget, okay? So again, you don't need to have thousands of dollars to be doing, to be, to be placing ads every single month consistently, but you have to have an ad budget. Now, what happens when you start an ad and then you stop it, or um, you play around with the budget too much? Well, it screws up that learning process that you wanted to go through so that it could actually go and find local families that are a good fit for your program. So if you're not giving, you know, the Facebook machine or ad machine enough money to do this work, um, it's not going to get there or it's going to um, not get you the results that you want, okay? Same thing if you were, let's say, investing $3 a day and all of a sudden you just stop the ads for a couple of months and you start them again, you're kind of disrupting that learning process. So you want to make sure you find a budget that really you're comfortable with that you can actually afford to spend. So for, for example, in our agency, when we do Facebook ads, we actually start with a $3 a day budget. So $3 a day, about $90 a month and we leverage video campaigns that are cost effective for our clients and then we just start them and we don't touch them for the entire month, okay? So have the ad budget in your account ready to go uh, so that you have that, that, that income or that money to spend and to test different things and actually just give Facebook the chance to do what it has to do, okay? So stop playing around with the budget, stop increasing, decreasing, or even, even worse, just stopping the campaign altogether, okay? Um, and again, if you're only spending a dollar a day, for example, obviously you're not going to get the results that you would if you were, for example, spending $5 a day or $10 a day. Now that doesn't mean that you have to be spending $10 a day, but it does mean you have to choose a budget. Again, a good start is about $3, 3 to $5 a day, and then just let it run and do not touch it. And the last mistake I see a lot of childcare business owners making when they do leverage Facebook ads, they go straight to the boost. Like, you know, they'll tell me, Christina, I already tried ads. I boosted uh, my business page or I boosted my business card and I spent $100 and I got random people in my inbox and nobody enrolled and you know, Facebook ads are just a waste of money. Now, this is a really big mistake. You wanna be boosting posts only when you have like an invisible list or an audience that you have set up in your ads manager. So real quickly, what this means is that you wanna be able to track so if for example if you're running a video campaign and you have a little three minute video that's out you're paying three dollars a day for example um for you know local families to see this video then you want to be able to go inside your ads manager and to create a separate audience of people let's say they watched at least 25 percent of the video and then retarget them with your boosted content okay so what i usually do is i retarget with the boosted post, anyone that's watched one of my videos, that's been on my website, that's on my email list, that's following me on Facebook or Instagram, that's engaged with my page, right? So this is your warm list, right? The invisible list that you have um, in your possession online. So then let's say you want to boost, let's say a promotion or a coupon code or a special event, then you would actually boost it to those people because you know that they're already interested. You know that they're following you. You know that they've liked one of your posts. You know that they've seen one of your videos, right? So they're warm. They're warmer versus someone that's never seen your face before, that's never heard of you, right? What are the chances of them actually saying, yes, let me just enroll my child in your program, right? Not, re not great. But if you are retargeting your audience those that are you know have watched your videos or that have actually following you on facebook or instagram or they're even on your email list or even that have landed on your website um and yes you can track all this in the back end of your ads manager then yes the chances are greater because these people are interested they're following you they're engaged they're liking they're following they're commenting right so it, the chances of them actually clicking or sending you a message is far greater than someone that's never heard of you before that's just how marketing works okay so record your video, start a $3 ad campaign using a video, and then start retargeting. If you do want to boost a post, retarget that audience that's actually engaged with you somehow with whatever post you want to boost it with. Don't just go straight to the boost because you are wasting your money. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that, you know, you really do venture off and invest in Facebook ads. I know 
from experience that it is the fastest way to start conversations with local families, the fastest way to, you know, grow your reach, get in front of as many eyeballs as possible. It's an excellent way for you to position yourself as someone that is a professional that knows what they're talking about when it comes to childcare. And, you know, once you invest in Facebook ads, well, guess what? You don't have to be showing up online posting all the time because this, uh, this post or this video that you that you have um, set up in your ads manager, well, that's going to be shown to people constantly seven days a week without you actually having to go in your Facebook and post five, six times a day. And that is really, really helpful, especially if you don't have the time to be posting on Facebook all day long. So listen, if you're running a childcare program, if you're running a home daycare or a small center and you need help with your marketing, I'm gonna put some links under this video that you can check out. One is if you really wanna try Facebook ads and you actually have a budget of about $5 a day, we can actually help you set those up and start running them and we'll train you on how to track them later so that you know that they're working. Um, and the other link I'm gonna include is a link of a four day, a $4 seven day social media boost. So let's say you're running a home daycare and you don't have time to be posting on Facebook, creating graphics, you know you have to be online, you just don't have the time to figure all that out and you wish someone could, would kind of just text you what to post every single day. Well, that's what we'll do inside the seven day social media boost. It's only $4, we'll work together. I'll text you your, your posts, I'll text you your graphics and I've added a few bonuses in there as well. So it's only four bucks to get that started. Those links are under this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.